Yo, hello everyone. Are you looking to surf the subways and dodge obstacles on a bigger screen? In this video, I will show you how to play Subway Surfer on your PC. From downloading and installing the game to using keyboard controls and optimizing the settings. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, to start off with this video guys, we need to start by downloading a phone simulator for our games. We can't really download the games directly from PC or from phone into our PC. Basically, you can find some several applications. If you have Windows 10, you can find some applications on Microsoft Store. Uh, but in general, there is not that big of apps on Microsoft Store. So what you'll have to do is actually go and download an emulator to make the work easier easily for you so here I'm going to search for an emulator there is a bunch of them you can go for whatever it like there is for example Mimo emulator if I click on their website the first thing that will appear to you is how much good is their application so here they're showing you that Mimo is better than all of these four other uh, apps so Mimo is better than Nox player, LT player and the Bluestacks and Bluestacks is the one that I'm going to use today because I really like uh, playing using it uh, it is very very good for me so let's go and search for blue stack and here guys if you can see there is blue stack 10 and blue stacks 5 so the difference between them is blue stacks 10 is made for pcs that are really really good but blue stacks 5 is for low end pcs so go for the one that comforts your PC the most, not you. Uh, put that in mind. <laughs> I'm just joking. So yeah, guys, for me, I'm going to blue stack 10 and then all I'm going to do next is click on this button to download the app and then simply I will install it by clicking on next, 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 next. And I will be right back to you guys. And of course, for those who are going to download any Mimo or anything like that, you can follow the same steps that I'm doing with Bluestacks 10 on your application. There will be no difference. It's just like, you know, it's like you have Samsung uh, A20, I have Samsung A30 or something like that. So just different names, but the same objective. So I will be back to you guys. So here we are on the home screen. All we have to do is simply search for the game. So let's click here on the middle of the screen, search for Subway Surfers. Now let's click on install in app player. Here we go. And as you can see, it is now being downloaded. Make sure that you have enough space on your PC. Actually, you don't really have to because it is only 154 megabytes. So it is not that much. Unlike other games as like Call of Duty, uh, Wild Rift and Allsports, for example. They all have a big amount of space to take, so that's why you have to be careful about that. And now, as you can see, it is successfully launched, so all you have to do is just let it to launch. Here we go. So it is now launching, and let me show you now how to play it. First of all, once you launch it, make sure to pick an age, which is acceptable by the game, which is around 18. I mean, you can accept even, they accept even 10. So let's go for 18 for now, or 20. Then click on OK. Click on OK once more. OK. And now the game will be launched. It is now at 80%. So it's going to take a few seconds and it will be launched. And now let me just do this to mute the game a little bit. Or we can just click on select through here. Turn down the music and the sound effects. And let me turn this up. And here we go. We are ready to go. So now we can listen to the music as well and click on play to stop to play or can click on space as you can see here so click on space and basically you can literally play it using your keyboard so here we go by clicking on up arrow i'm jumping if i clicked on the bottom arrow i am scrolling or dashing and if i want to move right or left i'm using the same arrows which is the left arrow and right arrow as you can see and basically the game is infinite for, for those who doesn't know. You don't really have uh, any levels or something like that. You literally just have to keep uh, dodging obstacles while you are escaping the police officer that is following you from behind. Uh, 
So it's as simple as that. And there is, of course, some coins to collect in the map. As you may see, that with them, you can later on on the shop buy tools as like other skateboard, the skins, the clothes, and some tools that might help you during the game itself. And as you may see here, there is some words that you can collect. So, for example, now we are on the pride. So we have to collect the pride word uh, just by searching for the word R, I, D, and E. And once you will complete it, you will get uh, an achievement and a prize for completing it. As like, for example, a key. And the key will allow you to actually keep playing the game even if you lost. For example, you lost the game and you want to refire. Don't worry about it. You will still be able to actually continue doing the game that you have played just by simply using the key that you got. It is very easy, guys. Don't worry about it. So now here we go. We are now collecting these coins. We have literally zero problem. So the game, yeah, it is as simple as that. Now let's try to complete the pride uh, word that we are trying to collect here. Um, I'm actually doing some bad job uh, escaping from this for this officer. I shouldn't get hit by this train. And guys, once you get hit by any obstacle, you will lose. So put that in mind. Try to be fast as possible and to collect coins. And sometimes you will have to sacrifice these coins so for the sake of your living. So here we go. Here we go. We are one alphabet short from winning the, the key. Here we go. Here we go. And let's collect this really fast. And yep, here we go. Now I think we're gonna be in a good position. So here we go. And oh no, oh no, I lost in the worst position. The word was like in front of me. I'm tilted now. It's okay, guys. So yeah, as you saw here. So basically, here are the keys that you have. You have five keys, uh, they give it to you by default in the game. You have 10k coins, and we have 10 of these case boards. Now, this is the score that we got, and these are the coins, the bonus coins that we got, we got from this game. You can claim reward here, got it? And as you can see, this is like the battle pass, so you can keep completing it, and you can get so many rewards as gold, as boost, as mystery box, keys coins and like literally a lot of stuff here at the end you will get a token to unlock this tier which is a skin or a character inside of the game and for the bonus reward in case you got to the bonus reward you will get five extra keys and 5k gold now this is for the season hunt for the war hunt you will get each day a mystery box for example mini mystery box for the first day once you complete this word as i said so for now i have completed only like i have one word left or one alphabet left so uh, i really lost in a bad position it was right in front of me so but yeah guys this is the game in general i hope you liked it and see you guys in the next tutorial